welcome back to our channel. Today we want to do a little get to know us Q&A situation thingy mom. So we're going to ask each other questions and then both answer them. So then you can get to know us better. Okay. How old are you? 26. And I'm 27. But she's going to be 27 soon. No. <laughs> no. No. Over that. It's the end of July. I have time to enjoy my youth all I can. Did you play any sports growing up? Yes. Then <laughs> what did you play? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I played soccer the longest. I played baseball up until elementary, basketball up to high school, and I did track in middle school and a little bit in high school, but mainly soccer. What about you? No, <laughs> I did not, but I was a twirler, a baton twirler. And fun fact, I actually played baseball, softball for a solid day when I was a kid. Wow. But then I could not play anymore because I twisted my ankle. Because I twisted my ankle all the time when I was a kid. I did karate for a day. <gasps> I did karate too! Yeah. I forgot about that. I did karate. I was like a green belt or something. I, I was in you it for it a minute. Long? Yeah, I was in it for a minute. Damn. It smelled like feet in there. I specifically remember. My mom has pictures of Autumn and I in our, our karate outfits, like <laughs> in the front yard. <laughs> so embarrassing. Where were you born? Breeze, Illinois. And I was born in Belleville, Illinois. And they're not that very far from each other. What's your favorite pastime? Coming to mind, like, like a long time, or just any like. Anything that you like, like to do? Like last week. What? Are you talking about like a memory? <laughs> what do you mean pastime? <laughs> like what you like to do to pass time? Like that's not what that pastime. means. Pastime, like it's no, that is pastime. not what that means. <laughs> a pastime is like a a memory. What no. is your favorite? What's your favorite thing to do to pass time? I googled no. it the other day because I no, needed no, to make no, sure. No, 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 yes. no. That is not what this means. Like I love to do puzzles. Look it up. I was right! I googled it the other day because I was like, I hope this is right. And then it that was. doesn't make sense at all. Where's the favorite place you've ever been? Anywhere with you, baby. <laughs> um, I would say California. Out of all the places that we've been. I like the Dominican too, but like, mm -hmm. we just. I'd rather go somewhere else. Chicago. Yeah. I'd like to go to Chicago again. A scale of 1 to 10, how funny would you say that you are? 10. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll be humble. Nine and a half. That's not humble. What about you? An 11. <laughs> you're, you think you're an 11 to yourself because you laugh at yourself more than anybody else laughs with you. Everyone I know that knows me personally thinks I'm funny. Yeah, because they haven't met another funny female before. No, they've never met another funny person in their lives. Mm. Besides me. Yeah. What's your favorite food? Healthy or unhealthy? Unhealthy. Pizza. Got it. It's been my favorite since I was a kid. It's hard to say. I love a bomb pasta, but I love like... But pizza's so versatile. I love steak and potatoes. I love just like Chicken good... Alfredo? Good tacos. I'm gonna talk <laughs> about that. What was your first job? So I had a job at a body shop that I was getting paid under the table. The hours were incredibly un inconsistent and I don't really count that, but I worked at the Ramada before I joined the Navy for over a year. He's never experienced customer service. That was customer service. Exactly. That is not customer service the way I've experienced it. I was service. sorry I didn't work fast food or at a freaking bank. I've had many jobs in my life. The very first was Subway for less than a month. Bad times. Very bad times. To this day I go in there and the smell of it gives me a little bit of PTSD. <laughs> What's your flavor flavor ice cream? Um, I would have to say I like a nice chocolate. Mint chip. Which of the, which of your five senses? Why are you still doing the microphone? Say, this is. Which of your five senses would you say is your strongest? Don't say breathing. I mean smelling, because <laughs> it's not. 
I'd say my touch. <laughs> I really can feel things well. <gasps> Mine is my sense of smell. This bad boy can smell things from a mile away. And I just know how something feels from a mile away. <laughs> <laughs> can you describe that to me? Oh yes. Not I over can there. Feel that. <laughs> the dirt. It's rainy. Powdery. Your turd. <laughs> Your turd? <laughs> what is one thing you want to do before you die? I would say just like feel like I reached the level of success that I wanted and be able to enjoy life without always concerning myself with like bills and what's next. Like have that like feeling of this is like, I'm content here. What a trash answer. Why? No, just give me something simple, dude. I want to be go to Greece. What, what's your answer? I want to run a marathon. You're going to be on your deathbed and be like, man, I really wish I would have ran that marathon. Did I say on our deathbed? You I said, said before you die! Yes, what is one thing that you absolutely want to do before you die? I really want to go and finish one of those food challenges where you get your meal free. <laughs> <laughs> you know those billboards? <laughs> Eat this 72 ounce steak, you get it free? <laughs> I want to do that. <laughs> introvert or are you an extrovert? Does it have to be one or the other? Or are you going to say in between or this or that? There's actually ambiverts that are both, which I consider myself. But if you had to pick one, I lean more towards introvert, for sure. I'm more extroverted than introverted. And I'm more introverted than extroverted. If you had to, would you rather lose your hearing or your sight? My hearing. The thought of being blind is actually extremely scary to me. Yeah. Because I don't like dark. Like last night we were on a drive and I was like, what if there was no sun? What if it was just dark all the time? She said this. Out loud. Yeah. It was not an internal thought. I don't have internal thoughts. I have external thoughts. Yeah, you just say everything out loud. <laughs> but... I don't know, I just don't like the thought of everything being dark. And I would want to see everyone still. I, I could go without hearing, because you can learn sign language. Yeah, plus we already, like, have heard, you know. Yeah. I'd definitely rather lose hearing than sight. I'd never get to see you again. Just in your memories. Yeah, I'd rather be At able least to you'd always you. remember me young. And it'd be good, because then I wouldn't have to hear you either. Oh my gosh. I would never have to worry about getting fat. <laughs> You'd be like, what is this? <laughs> this is this is new. Since you're really good at touching things. <laughs> Why is this flubbery? <laughs> That's the pillow. It's like the episode of Friends. That's the couch. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Because he like got on it and was like, oh, you know, like squeezing and it was like, oh, that's the couch. Because it's fluffy um, and yeah. Those two pet peeves of mine. Let's do that. Let's do two things you hate about me that I do that are annoying and then I'll do two things that you, I, that, yeah. Interrupting. That's number one. I hate that. I know this. Yes. Trust me. Yeah. That's perfect. Nitpicky. I'm not nitpicky, I'm just honest. Like your Or I stinks. could say the no filter thing. I have a filter. How you just like say what's on your mind even if you're not caring about my feelings or anything. You're just sensitive. Chewing with your mouth open. I've been trying so hard not to with this Whenever gum. Whenever <laughs> it is the most basic meal you've ever eaten, that there's no need to have your mouth open. It could be a noodle. It's hot. It's <laughs> <laughs> the excessive farting. Oh, I figured that was going to be one. The flatulence. I might be F. <laughs> How many kids do you want? I say three, but it depends on if pregnancy sucks. Cause I don't know if it does. And also I like my body. Most days. And I like it every day. I don't want it to be destroyed. Unpopular opinion, but I'm kind of a selfish person when it comes to that stuff. Which I'm honest about. So I would say three, but we wanna at least have two. Preferably a boy and girl, but we'll be happy with anything, and we want to adopt. 
or foster. Yes, that was a question for both of us. Yeah. That was our answer. We've talked about it many times. Yes. We have names picked, everything. Yeah. We're just not in a rush, which is no. why we don't have them yet. Yes. How did you know that I was the one? Since I asked you that the other day, and you just threw a pillow at me and said, because you let me touch the booty. Is that wrong? Yes. Oh, okay. I was very attracted to her, but the second date, whenever I was super hungover, throwing up at the movies and at home multiple times, and she still <clears throat> took care of me, stayed with me, cover or played with my hair as I took a nap on her lap and still went on more dates with me after that. I pretty much knew at that point. Yeah. I should have left. And we wouldn't be here today. <laughs> okay. I, I know the answer to this one. Okay. So I knew because well I didn't initially know for a while until you decided to cut ties that I was actually in love with you. But I knew because anyone that I dated previously, which really didn't count that much because we were like in high school and you know, like kitty relationships or whatever. And anyone I ever dated only pretty much dated me because of like the way I looked and not for me. And with Connor, I felt like I was safe to be myself and he like understood my humor and was weird with me and didn't like be like, what the hell is wrong with you? He was just like very accepting of my personality and my weirdness and the weird things that I say and do. And we can just pretty much be each other with e e be ourselves <laughs> with each other with like no judgment or anything. Like there's no limitations or yes. weirdness or judgment or anything. So just feeling like I can be me. Killed it. All right. That was some questions to get to know us. Just a, a little bit. Just a few. If you want to know more things, you can message us on, or comment on this video, message us on Instagram. Yeah, follow our Instagram and TikTok, but Instagram, you can definitely message us. Um, we yeah. have our own Instagrams, but we also have the, just the Meet the Star Waltz Instagram, so, um, yeah, you can DM either yep. one. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, that way you see more when we post, and until next time, this is us, have a great week.